Today, we will be talking about MachineSync setup and operation. For Gen 4 MachineSync, requirements include a 4G MTG, a Starfire receiver with minimum SF1 activation, the latest Gen 4 software version, and a MachineSync activation, which is included in the Automation 4.0 bundle. Confirm that you have the MachineSync activation under Software Manager. A green bubble indicates that it is active, blue indicates a demo, and gray indicates that it is not active. Then move into wireless settings, where you'll turn, in, turn on mobile to machine for your leader. Machine to wireless will be for your follower. Under mobile to machine, we'll turn that on, and then create a network name and password that is something easy to remember. After this, go to your machine sync application under applications, and turn on machine sync. Your leader is now set up. Moving into the followers display, again confirm that you have the machine sync activation under software manager. Then go to the wireless settings again, where this time you'll turn on machine to wireless and connect to the network that you set up in the leader display. Next, Park both machines in a position to set your home point. New home points can be set during operation by both the leader and follower, however it is recommended to set the initial home point in a park position. Settings for machine sync can be changed both before and during operation simply by going to the machine sync page and selecting the settings button on the top toolbar. Settings that might be adjusted during operation include nudging increments, your operational zone, and controlled traffic option. Controlled traffic eliminates the ability for lateral nudging of the follower, keeping it in a set guidance path. Next, we'll move into the view from in the cab and watch machine sync in operation. The operator will select Auto Track Resume button when he's in the operational zone, and we'll see as the follower moves into its position finding the home point. At this point, nudging is an option for both the follower and the leader, as we'll see here. It is recommended to make steering adjustments during operation to your liking for you and for your machine. And at this point, we'll see the operator disengage machine sync. Now we'll move into a different view from the auger as we watch the follower come into position of the leader. This is when the operator selects the auto track resume button and the machine will seek the home point. You'll see that movement level out as it settles in on that home point. And then we'll also see a nudge here where the follower will move forward and then settle back into position. If you have any further questions about machine sync, feel free to reach out to the dealership, to the integrated solutions team, or to your salesman.